It's a perfect match and this is show number three. Please welcome back to the stage your host for tonight, Greg Evans. Thank you very much. Hi guys up there. How are you going over on the side? Nice to have been on side. For the benefit of those people that have just arrived, welcome to Cargo tonight. Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. And it occurs to me there's many more ladies here than men tonight. So we're gonna try and gotta try and find some of these ladies at Valentine. So fellas, the limited number of fellas that are here. Please make sure you go up to a lady tonight and spread a bit of love just in the name of Valentine's Day. The most asked question that I've had tonight is where's Dexter? So in answer to that one last question, Dexter actually became sex starved and pulled himself to pieces. <laughs> Dexter is actually in a museum in Melbourne ladies and gentlemen. You can hire him out for bar mitzvahs. To compliment our show, our hostess for the evening, would you please give a big welcome to Jackie! Yeah. Here she is, the hostess with the most desk, Jackie. Thank you very much for helping us out tonight. Our first contestant is an office manager slash model. wrestling champion. He's a second place achiever for the under 19's East, East Coast Bodybuilding Championships. He's looking for a spontaneous and passionate girl and his desire is to beat the other guy contestants in a walk-off. Please welcome Bachelor number one. Here comes Bachelor number one. Turn around, take a bow. Beautiful, and have a seat, number one, and good luck tonight. Jackie, tell us about number two. For this show is Caitlin, and Caitlin is actually a lawyer. Caitlin, Kait not yet, Caitlin. Caitlin likes, yeah, no, come and sit down. Caitlin likes, uh, well, she likes, um, what does she like? She likes baking cakes. You filled this in, didn't you? Caitlin likes baking cakes, she likes swearing, and she likes having sex. In the kitchen. She says when she grows up, she wants to be a ballerina or a princess. You are already a princess. Her dream is to perform a recreational appendectomy on someone someday. Ladies and gentlemen, please ask your first question to contestant number one. Um, contestant number one, if you could compare your lovemaking skills to any animal, what animal would you be? Yes, if you could compare your lovemaking skills to an animal, which animal would you be, number one? I'd like to be a wombat, because oh. I eat roots and leaves. <laughs> of course! A wombat. Number two, if you could describe your love making to an animal, what animal would it be? I would say a lion or a tiger because of my strength and endurance. But, but, I'm gonna go with the black mamba because my tongue will leave you paralyzed. from which one tickles your fancy and why um all those answers are crack so i'm gonna go with number one number one gets the first match congratulations to you number one please ask your second question to number one caitlin um bachelor number one please look at bachelor number two and tell me some of the things he obviously doesn't have that you have oh. <laughs> Okay, now Caitlin is a lawyer, so she's a very good listener. Number one is going to tell us what number two has that he doesn't have. Okay, let's see. Since I'm Russian, I don't know if you can party all night long, but I, I, I do. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So he says number two can't party all night long like him. He's a stayer. Contestant number two, have a look at number one and tell everybody, or tell Caitlin, some of the things that he's got that you don't have. That he has that I don't have? <laughs> well, wasn't that your question? 
the opposite. Tell me some of the things you have that he doesn't have. Yes, yeah, some of the things that you've got I have, have, that he doesn't have. I have and he doesn't have a mirror. Your favourite celebrity number one, and please give an impersonation for Caitlin. Uh, it would be Jack. Jack. Jack who? It would be Jack off. Uh, ah. Two matches with number one, yeah? 